Okay, welcome back everyone. This is more dungeon. Yeah, this is more dungeon crawl stone soup. Voice is not working so well today for some reason, but hey, we did it. Ah, <sighs> well, um, so I actually bumped the audio of the uh, mic up, so you might be hearing a little bit louder. Uh, my mic is my new mic is quite quiet compared to my old one. Um, if you didn't know, I have uh, a lapel mic now rather than the regular old laptop mic that I was using previously. Um, I find that the S's tend to be a little bit less harsh and the overall sound is a little bit more pleasing. It's a little bit muffled, yes, but um, like generally speaking the other one was kind of hard to hear, hard to listen to, just because it was so uh, like peaky. Um, so this 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 mic is has been performing quite well. It is it is quieter, yes. I can't really do much about that unfortunately. Um, I might need like a preamp or something to get this thing to work at its 100% efficiency, but as it stands right now, I just don't have that kind of resource. Considering preamps are like what 600 bucks minimum, that's just not worth it for a lapel mic. Like, come on, man. I mean, there are there are like alternatives. I could get myself like a USB mic or something. That would be probably more preferable. But um, I don't know. I just haven't been really considering putting that much money into the channel yet. Uh, I do have the funds for it. I have gotten the funds from the uh, from the donations before. Um, actually, it masked quite a bit, uh, but I will still be holding on to that because I would rather spend that on. Well, it's not that I wouldn't rather spend it on mics. That's probably a bit inaccurate. It's more just like I feel like I could. I should do a lot of research before I um, spend my money like that. So. Or I spend not even my money, someone else's money, really, uh, all your money, I guess. Like before I do that, I should really try to research on the good one because I don't want to have like an incident where I'm just like, oh yeah, this, this mic is shit. Sorry guys, because that's just a complete waste of time, right? Like that's just abuse of funds, I guess. This is the best way to explain it. All right, so our summoner is doing pretty well. I didn't really talk too much about like the character itself yesterday, um, because I was, you know busy being annoyed at the fact that they suck but overall I'm, I think I'm doing okay I think the character is like decently strong defense is like the most scary part like look at us we have 24 in terms of total defense that is not something you want to see like ever I think we're gonna start training decks from now on we have nine decks that's really low for a character like this I mean we're lucky in that we already have the ability to, um, you know what, fuck it, we're not going to train fighting, if, if, uh, dodging, if we're not going to get any returns from it, we might as well not train, right, like, it's just that kind of logic, I think, is going to help me. I mean, like, yes, you could argue, oh, you really need the dodging, but I have 10 dodging and I have only 14 of 8, that's so little for how much I've spent, how much EXP I've spent in that shit, it's like not giving me anything back, so I'm actually going to avoid doing that. Um, like, is that something that's applicable to all players? Probably not, I would say. Um, it's very likely that that decision only comes, like, it might not even be correct, but the only reason why I'm making it is because I'm confident in my ability to make that kind of decision without, like, screwing up my character. I mean, I am trading away the defense for another defense, so it's not really like, like, I'm trading away um, my dodging training for shield training so like it's not like I'm completely destroying my own defense crippling my defense and focusing on offense I'm still trying to train defense but I find that uh, could be that because of our low decks it's just impractical to have um oh wait no we actually want that what do we want protection with magic problem I'm trying to think about what we want on a hot swap or our like or our like our ring slot that is designed to be switched like what's the best one to have normally i'm gonna have to probably regen here uh ilisu is a bit of a bitch uh we might be really in trouble here okay ilisu is just completely ignoring me okay all right where, where is she did she did we kill her no we didn't okay uh where are you going where have you gone? Alright, let's just get some more allies, I guess. As you can see, the summons 
shred the crap out of Shoals. Possibly Shoals would be the better choice to do first. But, I don't know, I feel like without the defenses, this is still a dangerous place. Like, regardless of how easily I kill them, I'm still scared of dying, right? Do I have animate skeleton? I actually do. Huh. I should probably be butchering these guys. Oh, well these guys apparently aren't. Ah. My macros are gone. All right. I'm actually gonna um Maybe I should save the macros before I keep playing. Just so it continues on. Eh, it seems like a pain. Uh I don't know. I'll save it. How about that? Yeah, save the macros. Come back in. And then once I have this, now my butcher will automatically be um animate skeleton instead. Uh this just gets more allies. Jesus Christ, we took a billion damage. This is what I mean by the lack of defense is really hurting us. Oh god, please. No. Alright, we're very lucky because the hoppies are like shredding the crap. Oh my god. Now yeah, we gotta kill healing part, I guess. Uh do we have invisibility? Yeah we do. Okay. What? Oh right. Oh interesting. Um so apparently the water actually affects um our visibility. I didn't realize that, I guess. Because it it wasn't like that previously. Um it's got a box of beasts here. This is kind of scary. I'm going to heal them one more time. Uh, that was kind of sad that we had to do that. That we had to waste two heal wounds on that. But it's kind of because we got in a bad spot and we couldn't really get out because we had no mana left. Again, no mana equals no health for the cost. So it's pretty important to have health. Uh, pretty important to have mana, sorry. I mean, we don't have that much. We only have 36. Deep Elf would have more. That's because they have plus 20% or something to mana. It's pretty insane. And plus three spell costing, of course. Having said that, hopefully we can just get rid of things. Fly into plus three RN. RN is probably not worth one int. But it's not really that big of a deal. And now we'll keep the one int. I'd rather have one int than like nothing, pretty much. Like because if you think about it, like really the the RN is just absolute nothing to this character. Like it's it never is really a thing, honestly. Um RN is just pretty much the worst resistance. It's not very applicable and it only helps stop things that are that you shouldn't be fighting in the first place, like tormentors. Like you should be killing those ASAP regardless of whether you have the resistance or not. And even then they still do tons of damage to you. Alright, we are getting surrounded for some god awful reason. I'm not exactly sure why, but it's annoying as hell. Let's put a lamp of fire here just to dissuade anyone from attempting to face me again. I'm just constantly sitting on negative mana just so that I can like keep casting spells. If another enemy starts coming, I'm going to start channeling mana. Okay, didn't need to. And we immediately lose half the health. Jesus Christ. This ain't funny, man. This is like so sad. Like what? I don't know why we're getting surrounded. We haven't even made any noise. Like what? Demon Triton is okay to have, but I think it's not necessary at this point. Jesus, that damage is so high. Like what? What in God's name is happening? Why am I getting surrounded by just enemies? Like what is going on right now? Why are so many enemies coming towards me? This is insane. Like what the hell? Like we have not made noise. I'm looking at the bar. Right? Maybe I'm not. Like, it shouldn't be making that much noise. Like, we are literally attracting the entire floor. Like, holy crap, look. I haven't even rested before an, another enemy pops up. Like, that's insane. Is it? I don't think it's supposed to be like that. It actually seems pretty crazy. Alright, Hydra. Take him out. Thank you. Hydra's kind of have AoE. Like, look at this. What? I'm still getting hit by stuff. Like, Jesus. That's like a bit unrealistic, don't you think? There must be like some kind of like magnet or something. Look, I haven't even gotten a rest off, and I've been on the staircase for like 10 years. Uh, by Suzanne, we don't really want to fight her just yet. We've got a different staircase. If if it's not, like, 
He must have bugged or something. I don't know. I right, casually take 100 damage with the poison damage. Feels a good net. Alright. Yeah, on this staircase, I guess. I mean, Vi Susan's eventually gonna get over here. Like, there's no way she's not. Right? Hello? Hi, Suzanne, where are you? Get her. What? Where'd she go? What? This is bullshit. Where'd she go? Kill him. Yeah. Not bad. Uh, there might be a room here. Hey, there we go. Nice. I probably should explore this area just because, um, I'll get more XP from it. Like I said, it's hard to say that the XP matters, but at the same time, if I'm a level 17 and I've already gone to vaults, I uh, probably don't really... Like, I, I, it's not really risky for me to get this extra XP anyway. I don't lose anything from it. Reflection is probably better than regen for this character, just because I, have, I need more defense rather than more health. I have health at plenty. The cool thing about mages is they can actually fight while I'm netted. There's actually nothing in this Grand Grimoire anymore for this character. I love how we still don't have our potions ID. That's like so sad. Does this change anything? Oh my god, it does. Yep. Okay. Alright, let's just get some Hydras. Tell them to fight by Suzanne. Turns out that my summons are slightly better than yours. Apparently. You only summoned one Hydra, I summoned like 15. God, no. Harpies, well. Weirdly enough, before they harp, their, their flesh used to be like the nauseating kind. I never really understood that. Like, how are like. Because, like, I think humans had like clean flesh, and like Minotaurs had clean flesh, but. I was always like struck by the fact that they had like nauseating chunks. It's like really weird. Though I guess they've removed nausea, nauseation, or nausea. Nausea. God, I don't know what I'm saying. Alright, let's go to Elf. Oh, wait. Oh, almost. Almost killed myself there. I meant vaults. To go to elf would be just stupid. It would make no sense. Uh, is there any good spells here? Probably not. All right. So I have summon horrible things on on tap, but not necessarily like I don't necessarily want to have it as my main spell. But right here, it's really good. So this is exactly what happens with um. Summon horrible things. Basically, it spams a ton of allies towards you. That's why it's so effective. But the problem is it comes with uh, minus int potential. Uh, so as you can see, I rotted from 26 int to 27. Oh, sorry, from 27 to 26. But other than that, it's a ridiculously good spell. If you can keep the spell hunger in check, uh, the stat, like, stat deficit in check, you are actually really set. Um... Usually it's fine. If you can get it down to like 1% cost, it's really good because even if you lose some int, it doesn't really matter. Um, cause you'll just not worry about it. Int effects, uh, spell hunger and spell, spell hunger, spell failure, and spell power. So with the, uh, with the summons, um, spell power doesn't mean anything, pretty much. Spell hunger doesn't matter cause we have the, uh, whatever the hell this is, the staff of energy. So all we have to really worry about is staff of, um, not staff, uh, is our spell failure rate. So if we get it down to 1%, even if we lose like 5 int points, it'll still probably be at like 10%, which makes it really useful. Okay. But I will have uh, refrained from using it at this high spell failure, just because I don't want to keep miscasting it. I mean, it doesn't really matter, because Sif will just like... Sif actually does protect me from miscast effects. I probably should be using it more than once. But as you can see there, I'll just kind of fail it from time to time, and that will really suck. Alright, summon horrible things again. So this summoned a tentacle monstrosity this time. Tell them to focus the red. Red is pretty important. Let's get some dex. Probably not smart. I probably should just keep going with int, but like, I don't know. With 10 dex, we're getting like no dodge for some reason. It's really starting to annoy me. Like 14 evade is not what you want to see on Ogre. Like with that as the evade being the primary defense, that's really not what you want to see. Alright. Really does suck when my entire arsenal of summons doesn't work against these enemies. Uh, Alright, well, I'll just casually skip all that, I guess. Cast horrible things. 
Alright, they're just summoning stuff now. I'm gonna actually teleport away. Just because it's more straightforward. Book of Battle gives me regeneration and Shroud of Globrio. I think regeneration is probably the better one out of the two. Um, but does that make it worth picking up is the real question. And the answer is, I don't know. Oh, I didn't need to summon horrible things there. Whoops. Bit of a mistake there. Like I said, every single cost that will give a chance to reduce my int, which is okay unless I start stacking it. Then, like, minus 4, minus 5 int starts to get a little bit more noticeable than you would wish. Can you really not see invisible? You can't. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I would assume hoppies could see invisible, but apparently they can't. That's a shame. It's a real shame. Alright. Let's try to get around here. Nice. Again, um, there's people talking outside my door, because why not? But I can't do anything about it, because I don't have any other time to record anymore. It's unfortunate. It is kind of bad luck. I mean, I did wait several hours, but hey, whatever. Whatever, man. Whatever. I'll just, I have to handle it, I guess. Alright. Sif Moon is whatever. Dragon's Call is available now. That does not make it a good thing to get. Um, having said that, I think that it's good to get Summon Butterflies. Just to... It kind of fulfills the same role as Summon Horrible Things. Maybe it's not that good. But the reason why I like it is because it'll give me some capacity to block line of sight when I need it. Does this change anything? Yes, it does. Damn it. Still have to wait a bit longer. So Dragon's Call is a is a possibility now. I don't think Dragon's Call is necessary to win the game. Like I said, Summon Horrible Things is... Like most level 9 spells, it's almost outclassed by a level 8 spell. Like, Dragon's Call is good, but for a significantly lower investment, I can get a level 8 spell that functions almost as good, if not better, than the current spell. Like, Summon Horrible Things is actually very competitive with Dragon's Call. Like... I honestly think it's like better than Dragon's Call, just because it summons it more quickly, which is really important for a for a summoner to just have like their entire force out like quickly like that. So yeah, if if you would ask me, would I prefer Dragon's Call or Summon Horrible Things? I'd say hum Summon Horrible Things, really. All right. Okay. So the little, like, the, the, the small upside of having the animate skeleton is that every so often I just get some more defense than I normally would. Um, because I can just kind of like hide behind my corpses. It does also supplement my, um, my summons quite nicely. Because I'm not using Lightning Spire anymore. Um, my, like, I'm okay with summoning large crowds of enemies because, or allies, because it'll just, uh, because I don't have to worry about bolt spells piercing through my own, uh, my own guys. So it's kind of nice. I mean, these Linworms have Bolt of Fire, but they can move around, whereas the uh, thing I can't, the Lightning Spire. Probably do need to remember that I can only cast three of these. I keep casting it four times for some reason, and it's starting to tick me off because I keep screwing it up. So if summon horrible things, you can actually summon eight of those creatures, so it's actually quite good. Large abominations are not bad enemy, uh, allies, and you can keep them up constantly. Uh, it's just nothing that I really want to drop. I guess we can drop some of the wands. Not very useful. Probably drop those. I think the scattershot can probably go as well. Uh, get some potions ID. We almost ID all our potions. It's already fucking vaults and we haven't even ID'd all our potions. Jesus Christ. Like, that's so sad. Uh, truly getting screwed by the RNG here. Though I guess it doesn't really matter in this case. Just because I don't really need the resources as bad. Gotta shoot at the invisible thing because my allies apparently are idiots and can't see it. Thankfully, Pain Mirror doesn't actually work if um, the summons hit it and not me. So I just don't have to worry about it in metal. I do have to worry about the torment coming from the Death Knight though. Oh, I wish I could eat. Let me eat two. Let me eat two. No. Yay! I ate him. So, as you can see, we're starting to get our surplus of stuff back, if only because there's a lot of edible things in vaults. Kind of is the problem, like I said. Oh my god, paralyzes the guy. What a badass. 
All right, this the hallways are not great for a for a perspective summoner. They're really not great. You learn to hate them. It really does suck. Okay, I do want to bring. Oh God. Okay, we're taking too much damage here. Let's go on a different staircase, I guess. Ah, uh, that's fine, I guess. Fine, fine, fine. All right. Cool thing about these guys is that I can actually abjure whatever the hell they summon. So I don't have to worry about any of this crap. Oh my god. Having said that, none of my guys can see invisible apparently because they're idiots, so that's nice. Uh god. Acid wand. It's gonna cast the abjuration here because it'll That's not abjured. Okay, fuck. Let's use our remaining zero mana to summon nice be uh summon horrible things. Like, the thing about Sif is that she operates most efficiently at zero mana, because you can actually, like, grab a level 9 or level 8 spell at zero mana, so you can get a huge boost in, like, power for a little while. Are you really invisible? Holy shit, that's so sad. Okay, this really sucks. Okay, let's pull back. Alright, summoning the horrible creatures, or whatever the hell they call it, horrible things, just to kind of crowd up the place. Like I said before, the summon butterflies and the summon horrible things fill a somewhat similar role because the summon horrible things will just create a lot of like sudden um like surrounded allies, I guess. I don't know. Create like summon enemy presence. You know, for the enemy uh allied for I don't know, like one of the two. But it's pretty good because instantly you basically like basically instantly you get a a quick army of stuff, and the army isn't even half bad. It's pretty strong at ripping things apart, so I can just do this and just get ridiculous amounts of guys. It's like summon butterflies, but every butterfly is like a mid-tier ally. It's pretty good. I mean, yes, maybe you could argue that individually the monstrous menagerie might be a slightly like might be one v one stronger than the large abomination, and I would say that's the case for windworms, but um. I don't know, Summon Horrible Things is just really good. It's not really the... I don't know, I'd say it's the premium like summoning spell. This character's like doing alright, I guess, now. With 18, 18 friggin' neck summoning, he's pretty much solid. Uh, a lot of spell casting too, but... I don't know, there's not really much we need to train right now, but it does suck that we're not getting shields up fast enough, I feel at least. I should also remember that um, I have Ozakuba's armor because. Uh, anyway, fuck. Uh, I might be screwed here. I'm just gonna summon a whole bunch of horrible things. And just let them handle it. I guess that's like the smart thing to do. I guess. <laughs> Look at that. I just like kind of kite around my horrible things, and they just can't do anything about it. Pretty nice feeling. Heal up. But yeah, for the majority of the time, Monstrous Menagerie is good enough for some times. Like, sometimes I would say that it's fine to get the uh, horrible things, but not just like every single fight, because it's just too inefficient in terms of intelligence. Like, for the big fights, it's good to have them. Like, right here, I can summon a bunch. I lose one inch for it, so. I mean, if those were not just like regular ogres, I probably should have just cast Menagerie in that case, but in like cases with like multiple Vault Wardens and like crazy other shit, it is a good idea to get those ugly things out early, because they tank a lot. I mean, pretty in-depth about these summoning spells so far. I guess it's because the summoners that I do are really like pretty few and far between, honestly. Like, there's not that many on the channel. I think there might be like one or two. Um, possibly a mummy at some point. I don't know, one or two. Like, mummy summoner hopefully will turn out like this. Just me not having to really play the game. I just kind of watch. Two hours and five minutes already. My goodness. Ah, we've been recording a lot of videos. I mean, I guess that's just regular. I just got... Sorry, I just blanked out for a bit.
But yeah, holy crap, I have recorded a lot of videos. I think we're almost up to 600 videos at this point. It's pretty crazy if you think about it. We are getting far. I don't think we've missed a day in, in a very long time. I wonder how long it's been since I've actually missed a day. Probably a year almost. Okay, here I need to definitely cast the horrible things. Like I said, this is a distraction that also kills everything. So it's pretty damn good. Okay, we need to leave here. Get the manticore. Run away. Oh, ugly things again. I need to be careful because when I'm yawning I can't see. And I keep playing when I really shouldn't. Oh my god, that damage. Fuck. Let's just cure twice. I really wish I had regeneration at this time. My god damn it. Uh, we should probably teleport here. Okay, maybe I do need regeneration. Because this is just sad. Like, having to like constantly be really afraid of my life. Like, I'm dropping so low to like just nothing as well. That's the issue with this character. Because I'm already weak defensively. If a single like bad fight hits me, I basically just get killed. But it doesn't even have to be like a specifically scary enemy. It's just literally just sometimes you'll just die to random things. Like you would think that 200 health really helps, but considering we have worse defenses than a guy in ringmail in D6, like, like we're not very well off right now. And defenses suck. Really makes me wonder if I should just go. Um, Troll other armor for the actual increase in defense. That's pretty sad. Like, but I think I actually might have to do that. Oh. I don't know. The shield protection would probably give me a much stronger chance of winning this in terms of def uh, defense or getting a lot more defense out. Book of enchantments. Wow, that's a bit of a spit in the face, isn't it? What enchantments do you even have left, dude? You have one. Like. Deflect missiles now. And chat weapon, I guess I'll put it on the scroll. None of these books are really that important. Though I think that some mana viper is good, so I'll probably pick that up. We'll get rid of the level 2 spell. Um, I think Ice Beast can probably go. It's like probably the weakest out of all my spells currently. And mana viper is really good. Mana viper is like, it's free anti magic basically. I think they can see invisible as well. I'm not sure. Let me check. Yeah, it actually can't see invisible, so it's a pretty useful thing against the invisible things that I've been kind of lacking an answer to. So it works against mages and it works against invisible things. Pretty helpful. I suppose. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Like, I'd yawn if I was bored, but here I'm more kind of yawning because I need to sleep. <laughs> it's not really like, oh, I'm bored here. I just don't want to do this anymore. Just Fucking tired, man. Wow, this troll other armor actually gives me the same amount of defense as the goddamn um, robe. I guess I can enchant this one more and get one more AC. I want the blue robe, though. I haven't really had a lot of blue this time. Because now trolls have different colored levers. You can get blue, green, and gray. The green is a classic. Alright. So, 12%. 12%? Whoa, what? Is that how that works? Holy crap. Okay, we should have been using this troll other arm the whole time then, I guess. <laughs> Go figure. Ring of Magical Power, that's actually really good for us. Like, it's just really nice to have extra magic. It lets me use my spells more often. That's really helpful. Even at the cost of MR, because I can always just switch MR back on. Oh. God, look at this damage. Like, this is just so sad. I took a casual 150 damage while waiting for my summons to kill stuff. It's like a real issue. Alright. Vault 2, man. Oh my god. I'm actually so tired right now. I need to write my stuff as well. And I need to do some readings. Jesus. Ah, a stressful life. Feels bad, man. I'm in like a crunch period right now. Until about next week. 
next week around Thursday, I think it is, is when I will be like out of my like assessment period, kind of, because I'm in the middle of my semester right now. I don't know how like America does it, but or other schools do it, but right now we're in the roughly in the middle of the semester of university life, I guess. Though I do, I do know some universities that have actually adopted some trimester bullshit. Like I think it's just stupid. I think the semester is just whatever. All right, there's like way too much fucking noise outside, and I'm getting annoyed. So I'm probably gonna have to stop the recording. Like they're just shouting for literally no reason. Like I'm listening to the words they're saying. They're just it's completely pointless. But so let's just finish this floor, I guess. Use the ugly things, cause don't want that shit to torment me or rot me or whatever. Two hundred health, that's pretty good. Pretty damn good. All right, so thankfully against that demonologist, I can kind of like just endure whatever the hell he wants to summon. Health actually might not be horrible in this character to do, just because I have abjuration or. I mean, it's still annoying piece of shit, but you know, if I am lacking something in heavily, I will. Consider going into the. All right. Keep fighting, guys. Don't stop fighting. Why? Why did you stop fighting? Stop. Damn. It cost me 14 mon to kill a single stone giant. That's just not efficient. All right. I'm gonna have to end it here, guys, because it's 30 minutes. If I am, if I wasn't in crunch time, these these videos would be 40. I think that's like how I should approach the idea again. So if you see 30 minute videos, you'll see that I'm like stressed out or some shit. If you see a 20 minute video, I'm probably gonna die like the next day or something like that. So yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna let myself pass out. So um thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.